Hi everyone. Today we're going to show the density of water molecules in different states of matter and we're going to use Scratch to code this kind of demonstration right here. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I suggest that you subscribe and follow me because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started on today's science activity. So I'm going to go to Scratch, and I'm already here, scratch.mit. I'm going to hit the Create button because we're going to be creating something brand new today. So I'll hit the Create button. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to hit the garbage can right there. Goodbye to the cat. Hey, first I'm going to divide up the screen into three equal parts. And to do that, I'm going to get a couple of paddles. So I'm going to go down to the sprite button right here. And I'm going to go all the way down and get a paddle. P, 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 paddle right there. Right, perfect. Now I'm going to go to the costumes and like the last activity, I'm going to turn it. So I'm going to hit the arrow button. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to grab that turning button right there and try to turn it so it's perfectly vertical. just like that. I'm going to make the screen a little bit smaller so that I can pull it all the way down. So it'll go from the top to the bottom of my page. So pull it all the way down there and do the same thing up here. Great. So there's my first paddle. I'm just going to move it up a little bit like that. So it's covering the whole page from top to bottom. And I'm going to place it at the negative 90 degree mark or 90 mark, negative 90. So it's in the, this uh, left third of the screen. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate the paddle. So I'm going to put my mouse pad or mouse pointer right there, two fingers in the touchpad and duplicate. And for this one, the second one, I'm going to make it 90. So now I'm just going to pull it down a little bit and make it at 90. There we go. So now I've divided the screen up into three equal parts right there. Perfect. So now what I need to do is to get some uh, titles. I'm going to put the word solid here. I'm going to put the word liquid here. And I'm going to put the word gas right there. And to do that, I'm going to go down to the sprites thing. And I'm going to click on the paintbrush. And I'm going to choose a color. It doesn't matter what color. You can choose... Uh, your own colors. I'm going to choose a red color because it stands out really nicely. And I'm going to click on T for text. Choose a font that you liked. And for today, I'm going to use curly. No, pixel. I'm going to use pixel. I like that one too. And for this, I'm going to write down the word solid. And enter. There we go. Whoops. Oh, solid. There we go, right there. Okay, now I'm going to grab it and move it down here and make it a little bit bigger so it takes up the whole space so people can read it. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go, a little bit more. Maybe that font wasn't the best. You can choose whatever font you like. So there's the word solid. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the word liquid. I'm going to put it right here by going down to the sprites and choosing paintbrush again a second time and write the word liquid here and write the word gas right here. After I've done that, I'm going to go and draw another water molecule. So I'm going to click on the sprites button again, hit the paintbrush, and I'm going to draw a water molecule. So again, to do that, I'm going to click on the round circle button there, choose a color that you like. And for me, it's going to be a bluish color because we're working with water. So the nice blue like that. I'm going to make a large circle here. That is the oxygen molecule. I'm just going to line them up so they're centered. And then I'm going to make two more smaller um, atoms and um, turn this into a water molecule. So I've already got my oxygen atom. I'm going to get two more smaller atoms and I'm going to make them a nice yellow color. I like that one. You can choose whatever colors you want. So I'm going to make a small one right here, like that. And again, remember the trick. I'm going to click on the arrow copy and paste. Now I've got two identical circles. And that's going to put them on the edge here like this. So there is my water molecule and you can make it as fancy as you want adding electrons and protons and stuff like that. Again it's way too big so I'm going to make it a lot smaller. So instead of 100% maybe 20%. Perfect. Maybe even a bit smaller. I'm going to make mine 15. Depends on the size um, that you've drawn it, how much you need to um, shrink it for this project. So I'm just going to pause here. So your task now is to get these two paddles. This one's at negative 90 x coordinate. This one's at 90 x coordinate. And I also I'm going to write the word solid, liquid and gas and put them there. And then I made my water molecule. 
So I'm going to pause here, let everybody catch up, and uh, once you're ready, we'll continue on. All right, so let's get going on our, the next part of our project. Hey, you've noticed I wrote solid, liquid, and gas, and I changed the font. I didn't like that pixel font for this one, um, but they're there. And now what I'm going to start doing is coding the water molecule. So first of all, I think I'm going to start coding the gas water molecule. And so watch how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to code and when the green flag is clicked, and let me just make this a little bit bigger in case you can't see it at home or work or whatever school, wherever you're working. When the green flag is clicked, I want to make 10 clones of this water molecule and you're going to bounce all around in here very quickly. So when a green flag is clicked, um, repeat 10 times make 10 clones create 10 clones of myself perfect then when i um start as a clone when i start as a clone i want to start way over here in this area of the screen when i start as a clone go to go to not a random place but um very specific place somewhere over here between 100 and 180 the x coordinates so 100 to 180, somewhere in, he in here. So I'm going to go to the operators, pick a random number between 100 and 180. 100 and 180. You'll remember that the um, paddle here is at 90. So I'm just going to have it start just a little bit over. So 100 to 180. And then somewhere from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. So this is Y coordinate 180 and negative 180. And actually this is uh, 270. What am I thinking? 270. So the X starts here and goes all the way to 270. So 100 to 270. Here's 180 to negative 180. So I'm going to get one more of these and start from 180 all the way down to negative 180. So they should be spawning these 10 clones over here somewhere. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Yep, they're all starting over there. This one's actually touching. Uh, that's all right. I think that's going to work. So next part. When I start as a clone, so we're going to start all over here, then I want them to start moving forever. So green um, forever. Um, move five steps. Actually, these gas molecules or the water molecules in a gas state move very quickly. So instead of 10 steps, I'm going to make them move 15 steps. And of course, if on edge bounce. But here's the tricky part. If they touch this green paddle, what I want them to do is turn and move back towards this side. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another if statement. If. If. And I'm going to put that right there inside that forever loop. If touching paddle 2. That's paddle 2, I think. Yep, paddle two. If touching paddle two, so touching is in the senses. Touching, I know it says mouse pointer, I'm going to change that. If touching paddle two, then just turn 170 degrees or something like that. So it moves back towards that area. Turn 170 degrees. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh yeah, look, they're all going back and forth. We had this problem in a previous activity. So we want to make them turn a little bit into a different direction at first. So I'm going to get turn 15 degrees, but instead of 15, again, we're going to tell it to choose between 1 and 360. So somewhere in a circle. Ready, green flag and go. Perfect. Got one trap there. Nice. Okay, so that's good. You know what? Maybe instead of um, 100, it's going to make it a little bit over 110. So it doesn't start right on the green uh, paddle. There we go. Nice. Whoops, one sneaked out. Okay, so there's the gas one is done. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And so you can look at it. So remember, I chose it uh, to start in a random place way over here. So between 110 and 270, and of course the top is 180, negative 180. So start in here somewhere. And when you start, turn a random degrees, 1 to 360. So they're not all going in the same direction. And then start moving quickly, 15 steps. If it hits the edge, bounce. If it hits paddle 2, turn 170 degrees. So I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, you can pause the video for a few minutes and make sure you're all caught up. And when you're ready to start again, I'll be here to do the next part. All right, next. So we've got the water molecules in a gas state moving around here really quickly. 
and you can see they're quite spread apart. Perfect. Now we're going to work on the solid um, gas, solid water molecule. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the, my water molecule right here. I'm going to put two fingers on it and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So here's the new one right there. I'm just going to move it over into the solid just so I know which ones I've done. So there's the solid one. Now I need to change a few things. First of all, it's got to start way over here. So um, instead of starting in 110 to 270 over here, I'm going to have it start negative 110. So negative 110 all the way to negative 270. And that's over in this area here. And of course, the Y coordinates are fine, but I want to start way over here somewhere. So that's that. Uh, still turn. Not move 15 steps. You know, when water is frozen, when it's in a solid state, to us, to the human eye, the molecules aren't even moving. We can't even see them moving. They are, but very little. Humans can't even see it unless you're looking under a microscope, perhaps. So instead of um, 15 steps, it's going to move 0, decimal 0, 0, 008 or something like that. It's not going to move very much at all. Just, just wiggling a little bit. Um, so there's that. And not paddle 2 because this is, not, this is paddle 1. So if it's touching paddle one, then turn 170 degrees. So I'm going to make this paddle, just paddle. That's paddle, right, paddle, right there. So this water molecule should appear over here because we've coded it to start in that part of the screen. And it's barely moving at all because it's in a solid state. And if it does touch us, it's just going to move away. Oh, and not 10 clones. I want a lot of clones. I'm going to try 200 clones. Because in a solid state, the molecules are very closely tight, uh, tight together. So let's see how this looks. Ready, green flag, and go. Great. So these are moving like um, gas state water molecules. These are here. They're very densely packed. Uh, to the human eye, you couldn't re really see them moving. But for this demonstration, we're going to have them moving just a little bit. So that's working out pretty well there. So that one's done. Hey, I'm going to pause again. Um, if you want to make uh, changes to your project, now is the time to do it. So you're going to duplicate your original water molecule. You're going to have it start over here. Uh, so negative 110 and negative 270. Um, it's barely going to move at all. So while these are moving 15 steps, these are moving 0 0.0008 steps. And of course, touching the paddle. And I'm making 200 of them. So I'm going to pause here again and let everyone catch up. And when you are ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next. Now we've got to um, code the liquid water molecules to move around in this area of the screen. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to one of these uh, sprites here. I'm going to two fingers in a touchpad and duplicate this one. So there's the water molecule. And so for this one, I don't want 200. I want fewer than that. I'm going to try 50 because the water molecules aren't as closely packed as a solid one, but they're also not as widely spread out as the gas one. So somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to make this one about 50. So 50 of them should appear here. And they're going to start in this area. So uh, let's say between negative 80 and 80. So that should be in this area. So negative 80 right around here, all the way to 80 right around there. And of course, they're going to turn. They're moving a little bit more than the solid, of course. They're going to move about five, but not quite as much as the gas. So they're going to move five steps. Remember, these ones move 15 steps because they're moving quickly and they're far apart. These are moving five steps. They're a little bit closer together, not moving quite as fast. These ones, there's lots of them. They're tightly packed and they don't move barely at all. I'm not quite done with this, the liquid one though. Look, so if touching the paddle, which is this one, it's going to turn 170 degrees. I'm going to do if touching this paddle, paddle 2. So I'm going to get another if statement, if. And I'm going to put it right in there. If touching, touching is in a sense, paddle 2. Whoops, grab that one. Slide it in there. If touching, paddle 2. If touching paddle 2, then turn 170 degrees again. Turn. 170 degrees, 170. So this last molecule that we discoded should appear in here. There's going to be 50 of them. They're going to move a, uh, about five steps at a time, and they should bounce off any of these paddles. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, this seems to be working. Great. Hey, one problem. Look, the word solid is covered. Liquid you can't read very well and gas is being covered up. I'm just going to put all three of those out front. So look, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to hit the stop sign. I'm going to go to solid 
and um, there's no coding for the word solid. So look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, um, I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see at home or school. Uh, go to the looks and uh, go to the front layer. So it's in front of the molecule. So let's see, ready, green flag. See how the word solid is in front of these molecules? Liquid is behind them. So I'm going to do the same thing with liquid, have the water molecules go behind it. So I'm going to make liquid go to front. Green flag, go to front. I have the word liquid go to the front layer. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing for the for gas. Hey, I think that's pretty much it for this project. You might want to add some music just to make it look good. You could put a different backdrop if you want. Nothing too busy. Maybe just a solid color. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. You could clearly see the differences uh, in density and how quickly they moved between a solid water molecule, a liquid water molecule, and a gas water molecule. Thanks, everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next project.